Hi, friends. Thank you so much for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film I Saw the TV Glow. I have to admit, last night I did the commentary and I started editing it and I was just not satisfied with what I was saying. I mean, I slept on it, I woke up, I took a two-mile walk just thinking about this film. And that's an amazing achievement by director Jane Schroeder. I hope I got that name right. Across the board, it says that it's a horror film, and it's not. It's a psychological, surrealistic fever dream. I mean, honestly, most of the people, the general public coming in to see just popcorn fair movies would be like, what the f***? And that's concluding my wife. She doesn't like movies that don't just kind of entertain or really give you a, a narrative. Honestly, she doesn't want to have to work at it. And this is what this movie does. It makes you think. It makes you work at what this story is. Because what it's doing is creating an experience. You're looking at the painting and it evokes some type of emotion. And this is what that film does. It evokes an emotion. It gives you a personal experience, a personal journey of what all these scenarios could possibly be. It's based on who you are as a person and what you are gonna put into it and what you're gonna walk out of it. And I had so many thoughts and so many ideas of what this film could be and it's sad that I didn't go with somebody because I thought it would be great just to have pie and coffee and talk about what this possibly is, what this all means. And these films are incredibly important. They challenge the viewer. And if you don't like it be challenged, I get it. I like popcorn, you know, mind-numbing movies like just as much as the next part. I like to be entertained. But every now and again, I'd love to be challenged. I like to see things that are different, feel things that are incredibly involved. I like to go on a personal journey in a movie. And I'm actually quite happy that I've seen a lot lately. Some good and some bad and more than others. I, and obviously, I'm a huge fan of David Lynch, and David Lynch is notorious for doing that. He's part of the surrealistic film movement, so I'm so happy that this director uh, is doing this because, again, these films are incredibly important, incredibly challenging, and it gives you so much more in the cinema experience. It invokes a lot of thoughts and feelings that I think anybody has always experienced it. How are you growing up? How are you feeling as a, uh, you know, when you get to my age and you're like, oh, have I lived my life? Have I done the things that I needed to do? Why are the things that I once found scary are now just kind of completely irrelevant or dated? And I think it touches on all those types of feelings and emotions. And that's why I really needed to sleep on it because it was a fever dream. And you, and I still have questions and thoughts. And I'd love to share any of those questions and thoughts with all of you because these are, this is just my opinion. And this is, and your voice matters. And I think if you go see this movie, please comment, please let me know what your experience was because I think I Saw the TV Glow is an incredibly important movie. It's a, for all of us to watch. Even if it challenges, even if it's something that you don't even normally watch, give it a shot and let me know how you feel.